Hello you guys and welcome to this solo mom trip. I am so excited. So had a 9 a.m. flight out of Nashville, got here at about 11.30. My flight actually landed like 20 minutes early, so it was nice, got here a little early. It is now, hold on, if I can get my watch out. <laughs> It is 12.17, so my room isn't quite ready yet, but I'm gonna stow my bags, or I just stowed my bags with Bell Services, and I'm gonna go to Magic Kingdom. Just taking out my favorite seat on clothes, which is the very nice. It's also the warmest, but... go-to transportation from getting from the airport here. I love that I don't have to stop at multiple places. If I needed to go by the grocery store, they could have dropped me by the grocery store for it. I had a 20 minute grocery stop. So there's so many offerings that they have and it is absolutely amazing. So thank you to Sergio, who was my driver and MCO to Disney. They're amazing. I also have a discount code that they've given me. So if you can save even more money, they're such a good option. I love them, but thank you again to them for taking care of my transportation and getting me here uh, to Disney World. So very excited. But this feels so strange. I don't even know how to act right now being here by myself. Um, so let's let's go have some me time in Magic Kingdom. So I'm gonna keep saying this because I think it's just so strange to be here by myself. Like that potty break was so easy. Like I'm here, it's 12.30. People are pushing their kids out for those midday breaks and typically I would be one of those people. And I'm just now walking into Magic Kingdom and this is like the strangest thing. So I think I'm gonna go get a coffee and a pink donut and See what else I can get into? Maybe take a loop around the people mover? I don't know, let's, let's, I don't know, let's go see what I wanna do at Magic Kingdom. Okay, coffee is required. That was a must, because if you're new here, and you don't know, I have a four and a half year old and a two and a half year old, and they decided to regress to baby-like tendencies and have a sleep regression last night, so this mama is needing some coffee, even if I don't have kids with me, I need some coffee. But we're gonna have to come over here and hopefully grab a pink donut next. All right, the pink donut has been acquired. And I'm kind of missing my stroller. Cause I'm like, what do I do with all my stuff? Like, I need my stroller to put my coffee in my cup holder and all these things. But, you know, I don't have that. on the whole 
whole thing because this like scared the crap out of me. The idea of coming on a trip by myself, um, for one, it was uncharted territory. I've never done anything like that before. But then there's also the whole like, what am I gonna do? And then the planning aspect got me. I love my ears, but I think either the girls have played with them or something and they stretch them out so they keep like falling forward on my head. So I'm just having to ditch the ears right now. <sighs> Okay, water break. Not that I've done a lot, but we're gonna take a water break. Um, and I also just kind of wanted to chat with you guys about like the planning process of taking a solo mom trip. Um, obviously, those of you that are solo travelers or you're single or you just, your partner or spouse doesn't want to travel with you, whatever that looks like, because um, it can be come in a variety of reasons why you would travel solo. But for me as a mom, getting out of the house and getting some time to myself and getting to enjoy my happy place by myself was something I'd wanted to do for years. And I like I thought it was a, a great and exciting idea, but it always like made me nervous. Just not as much the traveling by myself, um, but more so the planning it. And even the whole planning process of this trip just felt so daunting. Like I can easily plan a Disney trip for my family, but when it comes to like sitting down and deciding what do I wanna do? What does Ashley like to do at Disney? It really, it really kind of helped me get to know myself a little better. I know that sounds so silly. And some of you may be like laughing at that. And then some of you may be completely understand and you're right there with me of motherhood you lose so much of yourself in so many different ways and planning a trip whether it be a weekend to Disney World or a night at your own hotel like nearby or if it's just a day out somewhere or you go to the beach or whatever that looks like it it kind of helps force you to reintroduce yourself to yourself and get to know yourself so I don't know if you are on the fence about it and you've thought about doing a solo mom trip whether it be like with your kids or like this and without I would tell you to pull your foot off the ass um, this is awesome the thing for me is I only wanted to do one night this is a one night trip I will leave I get picked up to go back to the airport at 3 15 tomorrow so I have just over 24 hours so I'm it's to the point where I'm just enjoying myself and I don't feel like I'm gonna be like where's my husband where's my babies I miss them so much so I feel like that's kind of a sweet spot and or you could do it for a weekend I mean I don't know whatever works for you obviously I can't tell you what to do but it just it's nice to get to enjoy something for yourself so all moral of the story is if you're a mom or you're a parent and you are needing to get to know yourself again make time for that make time for yourself because I can already tell I'm gonna be such a refreshed mom going back after having a little bit of a breather and a break um, if you have any access to that at all whether it be a, for a day trip for going to get a pedicure if you at all can get some sort of access to doing that I would encourage you to do it pull your foot off the brake and do it I'm just like giving you the pep talk that I had to give myself because I literally chickened out of booking this trip so many times I would price it out I would have everything in my cart and then I would just close out and I did that so many times for months and months on end and I'm glad I'm glad I finally did something for me so I love my babies I miss them I'm looking at all these things and I'm like they would love to be over there riding Dumbo but I have to remember I also have to fill my own cup I have to put my own oxygen mask off first before put it on first before I can help somebody else so all that to say I don't know well thank you for visiting my TED talk <laughs> um, but I'm curious, would you ever consider taking a trip? Like, you'll have to let me know in the comments. Have you thought about taking a solo mom trip? Have you, and did you enjoy it? What was the sweet spot? Because I'm sure other moms would love to hear um, what you thought and like what was a good starting point for you or what made you feel comfortable or things that you did while traveling. Um, you People that do it all the time that you're solo pros, you're like whatever probably at all this, but as a mom, it's a, it's a big deal to jump out and step out of that role. Like I felt so much guilt 
um, I was telling my husband about it. I'm like, I feel so guilty driving away from the house this morning. Um, and he's like, no, you pour into those girls every day. You take such good care of them. He's like, you deserve some time. So you need to enjoy it. You need to take it. So I am also so grateful for someone and having that person in my life that wants me to pour into myself. So yeah. So thank you, babe. I love you. <laughs> but I am going to, I need to do some work on my phone. I get to announce something really cool. I am launching a Genie Plus course. So if you are bringing your family and you are completely blindsided, you have no clue what to do with Genie Plus or you purchased it before and it didn't go well, I will link that down below. I'm doing pre-orders until February 27th and if you buy during the pre-order, you'll save $5 off the course. I just, I am so excited to be able to help you guys actually enjoy that and not be stressed because I was literally in a panic attack the first few times I used Genie Plus. So I want to help you not be that. So you can definitely check out that link. Um, but yeah, I'm going to drink some water and just bask in my happy place for a little bit. Okay, and behind the scenes of me launching my Genie Plus course, so I just made the real live, posted some stories, and I am shaking. So I've poured so much time and energy into this, and I'm just, I'm so nervous. Like, I hope you guys like it. I hope you find it helpful. But I'm always like, anytime I'm releasing like a new video that I'm like really pumped about, or like this, this is the first time I've ever done anything like this, and I'm like, Oh my gosh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it goes well. Like, it's just all the feels. I'm very excited. I'm very like proud of myself for getting out of my way and doing it because I have been working on this for well over a year now. And I have talked myself out of posting it and talked myself out of finishing it for so long. And I'm just, I'm excited that it's finally out there. So I'm curious to see how it goes um, and find out more from you guys about like, feedback and how you're liking it. But if you are planning a Disney trip and you need help with Genie Plus and itinerary and kind of planning out your schedule, definitely check out the simple way to Genie Plus. Um, I mean, shameless plug because <laughs> it is my course, but I think it's really good. I love that it's bite sized so you're not overwhelmed with hour plus long videos that you're having to just comb through to find the information that you need. It's categorized so you can double back if you need to find something. So yeah, I'm just, sorry, I'm rambling on. Uh, I feel like a salesperson, but I'm also, I'm just really excited about it. So I love sharing it and talking to you guys about it. And I've also had to keep this a secret for so long because I'm working on it. And I'm like, I don't want to let it out just yet. So the fact that it's out, I'm just like verbal vomiting because it's like, you've been holding onto this secret and you finally get to tell people. So I'm excited, but hope you guys love it too. want to get one of these so bad. I think it's so cute. I've literally wanted one for years. One day, one day I'm gonna get him. around like I feel like I'm just walking around and enjoying being here like I'm not doing a whole lot today I have things planned tomorrow so tomorrow I'm doing I'm celebrating hitting 20,000 subscribers here on YouTube which I'm still very blown away by but my idea is to do um, 20 questions and 20 things so it was hard like I got to about 14 things and I was like if I can do this and I like force myself to push through and like what do I really enjoy at Disney what is something that makes me happy what are characters that I enjoy what are things that I enjoy dining that I enjoy a thing like experiences I enjoy here in the parks so I got that 20 like nailed it down so I'm doing that tomorrow so I'm very excited so more solo content tomorrow but I only have until 3 15 before I get picked up at my hotel so it's gonna be like squeezing it a lot <laughs> into a little time frame so tomorrow I'm gonna be like Jimmy plus like doing all the things and I have a character breakfast with Winnie the Pooh, like my favorite bear. Literally as a child, my whole bedroom was Winnie the Pooh. So 
I've been a blue girl for a very long time. So I'm like, okay, that's a very me thing to do. Um, so I'm very excited. But I'm here at Pinocchio's and I'm up on the balcony. This view. Like, it is the most gorgeous view. And I don't always come up here. Um, but I'm like, I'm by myself. I'm just gonna sit here. There's literally nobody here. And so I'm just watching the carousel go round and round and looking at the castle and just taking it in and just enjoying some quiet. It almost feels too quiet <laughs> not having my kids here, but I am, I'm just soaking it in. So in honor of hitting 20K on YouTube, I was able to grab one of the celebration buttons and you can do this for anything, but you can grab the celebration button and take it to the Ye Old Christmas Shop here in Magic Kingdom. And it was like $5.32 and I was able to get it personalized and they're gonna actually like write it on there with something more than a Sharpie. So it's gonna look really pretty and then it's like all like calligraphy and whatever. So someone that actually has really nice handwriting is gonna do it. So I'm very excited about that. A little personalized button and kind of a memento for the milestone that I hit. So I'm very excited, but you can do that for or birthday buttons, any other kind of celebrations that you may be doing. Um, so that's just something to kind of keep in mind is a special low cost thing is you can even customize those buttons. places that aren't just like straight on with the castle that you can get. I need to grab something out of my bag that of course I forgot to put in my park bag when 
I was scrambling to give it to Belle for so I'm gonna pick up some stuff, but let's run back over to the resort. All right, we're getting close. We're just around the corner, I think, at 12.32. <laughs> Ooh, I may have a water view. This is nice. I like it. All right, and I got a corner room. Yes! Oh my gosh. I love this so much. Okay, let me turn on some lights. I'm gonna do a little room tour. Lights are on. I'm gonna take a second from this video. I'm gonna film a room tour. So if you wanna see the full in-depth room tour, the way I don't make this video super, super long and go through all this stuff. So for those of you that don't wanna see it, it's not gonna be in this video. Those of you that do wanna see it, I will link the room tour down below um, once it is live so you can check out the inside of this room. But I am so excited. I have a king bed, which is what I booked, and I am going to sleep like a starfish. Like that is the plan. I'm just gonna like spread out and enjoy all of this room that I have in this bed. And I have a water view. Like this is one of my favorite things of this resort. Like this could not get any better. Seriously, I have a water view. So I can watch, sit here and watch the boats go by. I have a corner room. Like could this day get any better? I'm not sure, but we're gonna find out. Oh, the struggle of doing things one-handed. <laughs> okay, now that the room is set up, I can go my room tour really quickly. <laughs> oh my goodness, I am just so excited. And also, that took way, that just, did not take enough time. Um, usually when I'm setting up, clearly, I'm setting up for a whole family. This is weird. And, gosh, I have such, I'm starting to get in my feels, because I'm like, man, my family would love this. I would love to have Dean here, because I would love to just sit here at the table and hang out with him and like watch the boats go by, or the girls would love to be sitting there watching the boats go by. So I'm kind of having a moment where I'm missing them. So I just, I want to keep it real with you guys because I don't want it to be like, wow, Ashley was just so happy all the time on that solo trip she took. And I should do that and not kind of give you fair warning that it's gonna have all these feelings. Not that most of you couldn't have guessed that, but sometimes social media paints a picture of things being more blissful than they actually are. And so, well, yes, I'm feeling very blissful. I'm starting to hit that phase where I'm like, I kind of miss my family. I'm excited to still be here. I can't wait to go do more things and I'm having a great time. But I'm also like, it kind of, it's a lot of feelings. So yeah, just, just wanted to share that, keep it real with you guys. But I'm gonna film a room tour, distract myself with some work here and then, I don't know, I'm so indecisive on what I wanna do right now. We're gonna see, we're gonna see what we end up doing. French Quarter. <laughs> no, it's the one mommy picked. I am back out and strolling around. I'm just kind of going and gonna take some pictures of the resorts and little videos and stuff. I love doing that. Part of my job that I really enjoy is just getting to slow down and take pictures. And that's something that when I have my girls with me, it gets a little tricky to do. Like you stay pretty busy chasing them. So it's nice to be able to slow down, frame things up, take pictures, take videos, and just kind of just go at a more leisurely pace. 
um, than constantly shuffling in the diaper pack for snacks and like pushing them around, which I love, don't get me wrong. I absolutely love bringing my girls to Disney, but this is just such a fun experience as well. And it's just a nice little change of pace. I definitely would not want to do this all the time because um, I miss them. But when it comes to being able to take a break, this is like, this is really nice. Okay, Luke sure has went to sprinting. <laughs> Or at least fast walking because I see a magic kingdom bus. So I just grabbed the kids meal for the salmon here at Columbia Harbor House with a water and then a cup of ice. So that's just trying to keep it all so budget friendly. I also wanted something a little lighter than greasy food. I'll probably have some spring rolls later, but I wanted something at least semi-healthy this time. So that's what I'm going with. Dinner has been consumed. Now I'm heading back in the Christmas shop to grab my button. Oh my gosh, how cute is this Dumbo ornament? I love that so much. And they even have a cute little stitch one. I think that's awesome. Okay, I swear this is the softest shirt I think I've ever felt. I love this so much. It is so soft. So at this point, I've just kind of been walking around in stores and just hanging out on Main Street, enjoying um, being able to actually like walk through a gift shop and kind of take my time. Other than it being crowded, I've been able to actually enjoy it. Um, it is 7.15 though, and I'm so torn on whether to hang out and watch the fireworks at 8 or if I should just head on over to Disney Springs. I'm starting to get tired, and I really want to enjoy tomorrow, so I don't know. I'm so sleepy because we did not sleep well last night with the girls being up multiple times throughout the night. Um, I'm just like falling apart, so I'm kind of tempted to go and do that, so... I really wanted to watch Happily Ever After, but it's another 45 minutes. And a hot shower and a cookie just sound really nice. So, uh, let's just go, let's head over to Disney Springs. private viewing area. I like it. 
<laughs> and I didn't spend a ton of money to do it either. All right, well, I am waiting for the fireworks because I have eight minutes before they start. Um, I know structuring a mom trip is so weird. Like some part of me wanted to like do a budget trip because obviously my goal this year is to save money, pay off debt, do all that stuff. So I went pretty budget friendly, um, what I feel like. And then the other part of me was like, man, this is my first time out. I should make this like my dream day. Um, and part of my dream day was staying at Grand Floridian. So my question is, what is like, what's some a place that you would want to stay if you were coming on a, a solo trip? Um, would you want a fancy hotel? Or what is something that you would splurge on that you're like, I love this place. Like I would, if money was no object, I would stay there or book that or um, a special tour. I don't know, I'm curious. What would you guys do if you were coming for a dream mom day? You're not paying for this. You got a sugar daddy roll in this one, but like whatever, you're just gonna in your imagination. Um, but what would you do is like your dream day. I'm curious, I wanna know your thoughts. I would love to stay Grand Floridian dream day you know I'm not paying for this somebody else's Grand Floridian would hands down be it um, I would love to do a keys to the kingdom tour I think that would be so fun I've always wanted to do one of those but just never pulled the trigger on doing it and I think that would be really fun um, and obviously I can't do that really with little kids so that's not happening when I bring my girls um, and then I don't know from out from there like those are two of those like fancy things that I would like to do so I don't know you have to let me know yours in the comments but I think I'm just gonna sit here and bask in this and just enjoy the moment and watch the fireworks and then we're going to get cookies If you're gonna watch a Grand Floridian, the docks over here get really busy. But if you come along this side, either on the left side or this right side where I was, you have a great view. As you can hear, you can still hear the music and you have a lot less people around. So if you want room, this is like perfect. I love it. There's only like a few guests came down and like we're out and about as well. So this is such a great spot to watch the fireworks. But now I'm gonna go get on the bus. I can't sing the song without crying. I don't know why. I love it. Let's go get some cookies. I'm really hoping, what is the camera? What are you doing? Hello, there's a face right there. Let's focus on that. I guess we're not. Okay, there we go. But um, hopefully my theory of a late night Gideon's run is going to prove to have a low weight and hopefully no birth will cute. Um, that's the goal. But I'm hoping it would be better than coming tomorrow at lunchtime before I have to fly out. So we're gonna see what we can do. Was 
not bringing my jacket. I don't know what I was thinking. I should have grabbed it before I walked out the door of the hotel room. I literally went back and I could have grabbed it. But my hand warmer is coming in handy. It is worth its little weight in gold right now and every penny that I spent on it. So if you're coming and it's gonna be in the like 50s, 60s, bring a hand warmer, bring a jacket. I'm just saying, y'all think I'm crazy until you get here. And it's cold, like my hands are freezing. When I get over here to the line, I'm probably gonna dig my gloves out of my bag because I'm like chilling. back to French Quarter with my cookies. So, this mama is ready for a nice hot shower. <laughs> it's cold. Um, I cannot believe I forgot to, hi bunny. Um, I can't believe I forgot to bring my jacket, but you know, we all make mistakes. Um, I will not be forgetting it tomorrow morning because um, I think it's supposed to be cold again tomorrow morning as well and not get quite as warm as it did today. Um, so, Magic Kingdom opens for early entry at 7.30. So my plan is to be there at, um, or a little bit before 7 a.m. So got my alarm set for six. So I'm just gonna get up and I'm gonna do it. I love rope dropping Magic Kingdom. I love getting there when there's hardly nobody there. It's just so beautiful, so magical, and I just, I love it. I love good early entry. So tomorrow is a fun kind of a me day doing 20 things that I enjoy, so I'm excited. Um, so definitely stay tuned for that vlog because it'll be, um, I guess, that, the one after that I post after this one. So I'm very excited though. Um, yeah, I'm, I had a blast. So thank you guys for following along on today's video. Thank you for watching, for liking the video, subscribe. Goes the best. <laughs> but I will see you guys right back here in the next one. Good night. All right, into the video club. Before I hop in the shower, I've gotta say, thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking till the end and just being like the best of the best. Like I have an internet fan, but I feel like if you're still here, we're like internet sisters. I don't know. There's different levels to the internet fam and, and we're, we're pretty close, I feel like. But thank you for watching. Leave me a comment with a, um, let's see, we're at French Quarter. Let's do some Mardi Gras emojis. Some purple, some green, some beads, meh.